for the gentleman from IWA, rule closure. London rule will be closed from 1800 hours until 2300 hours from Saturday the 3rd, repair and water main. And also from Campbell's, number three warehouse, Sprinkler Revert Commission on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of November for maintenance. Okay, do I shut? All right. Shout, John.
On rear speaker, lads, all right? Let me have a look. Nick with me.
almost swear. easier than most of them. Get this greased up and uh, a bit uh, an easier runner. Thank 
Leeds tonight following a heart and lung transplant, making him the youngest patient to undergo the operation. Sports. Young Steele has tried valiantly to lead the life of any ordinary three-year-old, but the youngster's been suffering from a rare condition which causes the blood vessels to his lungs to gradually narrow. Doctors at Killingbeck Hospital in Leeds decided a heart and lung transplant was his best bet, and this weekend, when the donor organs became available, the operation went ahead. Consultant surgeon Duncan Walker performed the operation, which was a trailblazer in itself. Mr. Walker explained the difficulties entailed. The whole infrastructure has got to be perfect. That is, the people who go and collect the organ have got to keep in contact with myself back here who prepares the kitty so that everything ends up with the shortest possible period of time between the heart being removed from the donor and the heart starting to pump in the recipient. A coroner at Selby in North Yorkshire has recorded... Sport investigators believe that the fire at the King Edward VII High School was started deliberately. The blaze started in a small wooden shed and spread rapidly through the main hall, destroying a gymnasium and four badminton courts. Sixty firemen tackled the flames and nearby residents were warned of the danger from falling debris as the building collapsed. Rebuilding could cost a million pounds. The giant Coca-Cola company... ...by accident or had a heart attack. The police are now hoping that renewed publicity will help them to find out exactly what happened. Well, I would hope that uh, the matter may be resolved at some stage, but I think that'll only be through uh, some information to the police. If, there's, if the circumstances are natural, then obviously there will be no information to come forward. Farmen in North Yorkshire have been fighting to stop poisonous chemicals seeping into public waterways after a crash involving a crop spraying machine and a lorry. 
The liquid, a mixture of fertiliser and weed killer, spilled onto the A19 at Thormanby, north of Easingwold, after the crash. The driver of the crop sprayer, Peter Teasdale, is recovering in Friaridge Hospital with serious head injuries. Fire officials say the chemical is poisonous and dangerous if inhaled or if it touches the skin. Sand is being used to contain the liquid. Finally, thousands of pounds of counterfeit goods were destroyed in Humberside today in a few seconds